So welcome back friends to another video from the shop. Remember this? The Swedish butter knife I made it was just before Christmas or so with the breadboard. Made a couple of these and gave them out for gifts. They were very well received. This one here is uh, I made for my mom. I haven't given it to her yet. But when I made that video, I made a comment. I said, man, I like the shape of this, right? It feels really good in the hand and it just it was kind of unique. I'd never seen anything like it. I, I mentioned how cool would this be to have this shape in a real knife, right? Said it just kind of just in passing, you know, I, I never thought that it would ever be a reality, but you're not going to believe this. Look at that. Is that not the coolest thing ever? This showed up in the mail today. I couldn't wait to come in here and to share it with you because I just, it tickled me to no end. One of my subscribers, and he's asked me to keep his information private, and I will, and I hope I'm not giving out too much because I think it's important uh, to tell uh, kind of a little bit of story of the knife. Um, wrote me a really nice letter and said that he's enjoyed the videos and he uh, is an amateur knife maker um, and a pharmacist by trade. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to give out the name, I hope, but I, I, I wanted to say that because just before we get started talking about it, if you look right there, do you see what that is? That's his maker's mark. And that is a, uh, um, what do you call it? A mortise and petzl? Pe petzl? Per petzl? What is that thing? The little mixing thing, the little traditional mixing bowl with the masher for mashing up herbs and drugs that, that is kind of synony synonymous with pharmacy. Pretty cool maker's mark, huh? If you're a pharmacist to have that, I thought that that was just about clever. But this is so gorgeous. And the thing that really, uh, it's cool to me is I can't believe how close you got it to, to the little knife that I made, the, the butter the Swedish butter knife. I mean, it's almost exactly the same. And you didn't have any dimensions to go off. You must have ha stopped and started and watched the video for who knows how many times uh, to get the shape of that. And it is so cool. My goodness. I think, you know, some people say don't quit your day job. I would say you might be safe quitting your day job if this is the type of work that you can do producing knives. Knives. My goodness, that's gorgeous. First thing when I unwrapped it that I noticed about it was it is heavy. It's got some heft to it. It has such a nice feel. It, it, it's, I'm not used to picking up a knife that has that nice feel and balance. It's, it's really a wonderful thing to have something that, um, that I designed myself, and I, that I drew and created in the wood shop, and to have it reproduced in such a, a beautiful work of art as this. It, it's really special to me. Um, it's just not something that, that, you know, comes into my hands every day. And it, I, I just thought it was so amazing. Look at the, look at the red liners. Isn't that gorgeous? Red liners. Hey, these are the mosaic pins. I have those same ones on my Deering knife. Those are gorgeous. Uh, and he told me that he used a piece of, um, it's a, it's a hardwood. I forget what it was, I believe from Africa. He said he bought it on eBay and, and used that for the, for the scales, but is that not, what nice work, <laughs> nice work. Look at the colors. This is, this is one of my favorite parts, but the colors in this, um, what did you say? It was a steel. I think it was, was it A2? I hope I, hope, hope I remember that A2 and he's hardened it. Uh, and you can see right there, the line that, that with the, the tempering was done. I mean, that, that's not grease or oil or, or that, that is, that is etched in the metal and that is Beautiful, beautiful. Isn't it cool? Wow. Very special. It, uh, did I bring the sheath? I want to show you the sheath. Oh, goodness, I think I forgot the sheath. I do have the sheath. Sorry about that. I set it over there. He even made the sheath. Wait till you see this. 
Isn't that nice? <laughs> That's gorgeous. Calf skin. I was looking at it and I also noticed right there, look, he's got his, look how subtle that is. So classy, such, so elegant. He's got his maker's mark embossed into the leather on the back side of the sheath. Isn't that nice with the copper rivets and hand stitched and the red leather? I think that's kind of a nice touch. That is cool. That's one of a kind right there. You're not going to see one of those uh, ever again unless he makes another one. Isn't that neat? <laughs> I, I will treasure this. I, I, I'm just so happy. So happy and it's sharp. So it wrote in the letter. So this this here, the original one, and I'll put a link to building this at the um, at the end of this video. This was, uh, I, I make these for Mrs. W, Jack and I make them. Um, it's kind of a traditional Swedish or Scandinavian uh, butter knife. So we have the, and with a little breadboard, we make these little breadboards. And when you have a piece of toast or something, you know, this is how she serves it to us. Everyone has one of these with it on there with their own butter knife and you can put your butter or jam on there. And so I, I made kind of a, this is, was kind of my own variation on that. Um, and I was really happy, pleased with the design. It felt nice in the hand and, and I thought it was good for spreading. And then to get a, a full sized, a, a real version of it is, uh, well, it's just beyond, beyond cool right there. Isn't that something? And that is neat. I can't tell you how nice that feels in the hand. It really, really is cool. So I guess the, what the question begs, uh, to be answered is what would you use it for? What would it be good for? Um, as soon as I took it out of the package, I, I unwrapped it. Mrs. W was in the kitchen and I showed it to her. She's the first thing she said was, I want that. <laughs> you can't have that. That goes perfectly with the butter knife you made for me. I said, what are you going to do with that? She, she said, I'm going to, I want that uh, to put on my large breadboards when we have friends and company over. One thing that she always does is she has, uh, I've got, so we've got some big breadboards that I've made for her. She does a really beautiful spread of, of really nice cheeses like um, English cheddar and, and Dutch cheese and different cheeses from Europe with crackers and sausages that she lays out. She does this all the time and lays out with, with some of the tr traditional Swedish butter knives. She said, I want to have this um, on the plate. Uh, when we have special guests come over, so if, as as a cheese knife uh, for cutting um, cheddar and the hard cheeses, I thought you know that's a that's a good idea. That would be nice, um, a, a nice thing to have. But it is sharp, sharp, sharp. I might detune that just a little bit for the uninitiated who might be cutting the cheese, so to so to speak, with a, a knife that may be very sharp. But isn't that neat? That's really, really special. I, I, I am so moved and I, you know, I, I receive, I, I, something that happens in our family daily is Mrs. W and I, we both say it all the time is we can't, I can't believe how generous people are. Uh, we receive some of the nicest gifts and the most thoughtful things and not everything makes it on a video. Um, of course, you know, and you know, subscribers like my friend Ken, you know, and he's always, he just has this uh, uh, this generosity and he, and he watches the videos and he sees a need for something and, and he sends it to us. Um, and it's just, I, I just can't, I can't express the gratitude and, and how it just gives me so much hope. You know, you see here all the negativity on media and, but the reality of it is, is I talk, I, I talk to so many people when we go out or just through the comments and I'm inspired by how good people are. And this is such a perfect example. I mean, the what you have given me with this is you've given me your time and that's the most valuable thing that you can give i i don't know what goes into making a knife like this but i can only imagine it is hours and hours of painstaking labor especially to produce something at this level this quality and fit and finish and this detail is truly uh, a work of art and to have to, to have someone to to that would take take your time away from your family and the, your pursuits and the things you like to do to, to make this for me and to send this is, um, I mean, it's just the pinnacle of generosity and I am so moved by it. And it doesn't have to be, I mean, I mean just because someone makes something from hand doesn't make it more special than someone who sends a really nice tool that's helpful to me because that your time goes into that too to pay for those things. So I am very moved by this and I'm very appreciative and this is uh, very much appreciated and treasured and I am honored, honored uh, to receive it.
So I, I wanted to share that with you because it's just so beautiful. All right, another thing I'm gonna, we'll be doing a video on, uh, we'll see who the smarties are. Who are the smarties in the group? <clears throat> My friend Ken sent this to me and it was two pieces. Came in the box and of course he made me squirm. He didn't give me any explanation of what it is. He said, ah, I saw that you, there may be a need for this uh, because of a video you did recently and uh, can you guess what it is? You probably already know. And I, I mean, I was trying to make it made up and I was looking at this tapered surface on there and I'm like, this, these are two separate things. What they don't, what are they for? Is there something that I own that they're supposed to join into? I, could, I couldn't figure it out. I had no idea. There's a magnet on the end of this one and these big heavy O-rings and why is that tapered in there? I couldn't figure out what it was. I had no idea. I had to send him an email and then he told me what it was and it, it was so obvious. And I thought, oh, that is brilliant, brilliant. So brilliant, I'm going to do a video on it, but we'll see who's smart. Can you figure out what <laughs> what these two pieces of aluminum are for. If you think you know what it is, put it in the comments and we'll see see who the clever ones are. And don't cheat. Don't read someone else's someone else's idea and, and then uh, take it as your own. But uh, think about it. If you do know, uh, put it in the comments. But uh, I'll, I'm going to do a video on this uh, pretty soon. So that's it. All right. So uh, tomorrow we're heading up to the mountain. We're going to be going uh, skiing. We should have some fresh snow. It should be beautiful up there. I'll take the camera along. I'll bring you guys along and show you what it's like to to be on uh, a beautiful Cascade Mountains on us in a snowstorm. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next video.